All right, hello and welcome back. This is our Fit Essentials Basics class. My name is Shauna. I'm gonna be guiding you through this session. Those of you that might have the blood flow restriction bands, we've already added air. So if you're on the recording, hit pause, go ahead and add that air in and then join us when you're ready. Those of you that are here live, let's go ahead. We're gonna come to seated to get started. Do a little bit of stretching from seated and then we'll be coming up to standing. So when you're ready, go ahead and come to a seated position. And I'm gonna invite you to just sit right on the edge of the chair. Make sure you have your feet nice and flat on the ground. And we're gonna do our seated cat cow to get started. So you're gonna bring your hands to the bottom of the thighs. As you breathe out, you're gonna retract your belly back and in, draw those shoulders forward and bow your head down. And then when you go to breathe in, we wanna slide the hands up the thighs, draw those shoulders back and just gently lift the head and neck. Go ahead, do about three to four more times, breathing out, bowing down, sliding those hands forward, breathing in, hands slide up, shoulders draw back. Beautiful. And again, just kind of start to move with a tempo of breathing that feels best for you. When you bow that head down, you should get a nice stretch for the back of the neck. And then as you sit tall, opening that chest twice more, breathing out, bowing down, breathing in. Sitting tall, ah, good, last one. Fantastic, all right. If you need to kind of sit back a little bit more on the edge of the chair, we're gonna warm up the ankles next, lift one leg up, interlace the hands, squeeze those shoulders back, and now some ankle circles. Really be aware here, we don't wanna shrug the shoulders forward, we don't wanna shrug them up. So I wanna emphasize how long can I make my neck switch direction to that ankle? This is just like a little nice warm up also for those muscles that mid back, start to engage that mid back position. Wonderful, set that foot down and same thing other side. Lift it up, interlace the hands, squeeze those shoulders back, circling through the foot. Go ahead and then circle it the other way, up and down, back and rest. Beautiful. When you finish there, go ahead and make your way up to standing. I'm simply going to turn my chair around as I come to standing or stand near a wall, anywhere to kind of help steady yourself. But we are going to be using that chair a little bit later. So next, we're going to start with a little bit of hip extension. So standing tall, I'm going to walk my feet in, toes pointing forward. Let's start with your left leg. You're going to lift up through the belly, point the foot in front of your body, lift the foot and toes, and then gently glide it back. Looking to just slightly extend the hip, point it forward, draw the stomach in, and make sure that you don't overarch the spine so belly stays neutral. Forward, up, and back. Exactly. Flip forward and squeeze this glute so that when you know what you're doing or have an idea of what you're doing, sometimes we never feel like we fully know. <laughs> Hold on with those arms. Point the toe in front, lift the foot, glide it back. Excellent. Point the foot, lift the foot, and glide. Good. Let's go one more time. Point, lift, and squeeze this glute. Rest. Good job. In between side, walk the feet a little bit wider, and let's roll through those hips. Get some nice, smooth circles. Ah. Fantastic. And then we'll circle the leg, hips the other way. Fantastic. And then getting ready for that hip extension on the opposite side of the body. I'm gonna hold onto my post next. So we're coming back to your chair if you choose, toes forward, belly in. And now pick that foot up, point it forward, lift the foot, glide back, squeezing the glute without arching that spine. Forward, up, and back. We're gonna spend 30 seconds here. You can hold on with one or two arms. Oh, nice, Diane's not holding on, kind of challenging that balance a little bit more. Forward, lift, and back. Good. Apologize for the lighting. Starting to get a little bit more backlit here. Still a bit of an amateur. And hopefully you can see me okay. Diane, if you can't see me well enough, please let me know. Final time. Point it, bring it back, and rest. Great job. All right. Next, we're going to work on our balance with our sway steps. For the sway steps, you're going to walk your feet nice and wide. Make sure you have a little bit of space to work with here. Breathe in, spread those arms wide, spread the fingers wide. And now to sway, we're gonna kind of shift our weight to one side. You can keep that foot on the ground, or if you want the extra challenge, you can lift it up. 
As you come back down to two feet, rest those arms, bring them together in front of the body, and now sway the other way, lifting up. Option to come onto one leg, and then down, breathe in, and then breathe out as you lift. Very good. Down and up. We're practicing shifting that balance and then pausing on that other side. Over and up. Have a great day, Bridget. Squeezing those shoulders back as you practice that balance. Breathing in, breathing out. Good. Down and up. We got four pups, four dogs hanging out here today. So you might see some different ones come through the camera screen. Excellent. One more time each way. Over, up, over, and back. Fantastic. All right. Shake out those arms. Walk the feet back in. And we're going to go back to not the hip extension this time. We're going to kind of advance that movement just a little bit to start to swing a little bit through the legs. We're just going to chew his broom. So when you're ready, starting, let's go your right leg. So you're going to kind of point the toe forward and then glide it back, similar motion, but then see if you're comfortable to turn it into a little bit more of a swing. So just nice and smooth, gliding it forward, gliding it back. Make sure that as you swing back, you don't rotate through that thigh. Just forward and back, nice and smooth. Good. Still focus to not arch that lower spine. Trying to squeeze that tush as the leg swings back. Do a couple more. Two one and rest fantastic set both feet down in between legs we're gonna practice some forward bows here so set those feet about hip width apart we're gonna cross the arms over the shoulder the little i dream a genie position with a soft bend in the knees draw that belly in and now you're gonna send those hips back as you draw those elbows up breathing in as you stand tall stomach drawn in towards your spine and then long spine as you push those hips back Good. Kind of try to see if you can say hello to the back of those hamstrings. Make sure you maintain that just gentle bend through those knees. Beautiful. Let's go one more time. Stand all the way up and then we'll take it all the way back. Fantastic. Ah, bowing down, standing tall. Beautiful. All right. Let's finish out those leg swings. Now on the right side, steady yourself as needed, standing up nice and tall. Start with that foot pointing forward and then lift the foot and toes, glide it back. Conscious of that lower spine. And then it's just a nice controlled swing. Point the foot, glide it back, point and glide. Excellent. Ah, 10 more seconds, nice and smooth. Beautiful, three, two, one and pause. Awesome. Set those feet about hip width apart. And now this time we're going to move into our figure eights through those hips. Just getting some motion, trying to imagine you're tracing the figure eight with that belly button. Good. See if you can then glide those hips the other way. Good. You can just sway with the arms. We've got the palm trees here. Or if you're in Arizona, you can pretend you're in Hawaii and you just flow in. Beautiful. All right, from there, we're going to return to those sway steps. So clear your space. Give yourself some space to get nice and broad. Feet start with that wide base stance, walking them outside the hips, anchor down to those feet, breathing in, stretch your arms nice and long. And then when you're ready, sway to one side. If you're a little bit off on your balance, just keep that foot on, practice holding your weight on one side, breathing in, resting the arms down, breathing out, lifting up. So toe stays down or toe lifts up. Say hello, Moose. Breathing in as you come down, breathing out as you lift up. And remember, it's all practice. So be kind with yourself if you're a little wobbly today. My balance is actually pretty good today, but sometimes it's not so great. Good, about 10 more seconds. Over and up. One more time each direction. Good, squeezing those shoulders back really help to kind of anchor in the back of the body, support that balance and rest. Good, go ahead and just kind of shake your body. Bop it up and down. Ah, just some nice gentle movement, shaking out the arms. Fantastic. All right, feel free to grab a drink of water. We're gonna move into our second circuit and this is when we're gonna to come to seated. We're gonna be working those leg extensions, firing that quad. 
So grab a drink, meet me in the chair. We're gonna get started here in about 15 seconds. Similar to that warm up position, you wanna scoot right to the edge of the chair, sitting up on those sit bones. We'll give you another 10 seconds to get everybody in position. And then we're gonna be working the leg extension. So extending the knee, sit up nice and tall, hold onto the handles of the seat of the chair. Let's start with the right leg, pick it up off the ground, lift the toes and then extend the knee, draw the toes back towards you. So bend and extend up and down, just looking to fire this quad. I'm keeping my foot off the ground the whole time, but if you wanna slow it down or if you need a little bit of a break, you can also set the foot on the ground. Otherwise, breathing out as you kick out, breathing in as you lower. Nice. Good, Diane. Bend and extend, almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, we'll take about 10 seconds, shake it out, and then same thing, other side. Sit as tall as you can, draw those shoulders back. And now onto the left leg, pick it up. And here we go, bend, extend as much as you can. Breathing out as you kick that knee straight, feel the top of that thigh fire, good. And extend, nice. Halfway through, eyes up and forward. Pulling those shoulders back, practicing that tall posture. Two, one, and rest. Fantastic. All righty. Go ahead as you're seated here, hands on the thighs, and now we're going to go into that seated forward fold. Draw the belly in, slide the hands down towards the ankles as you bow the head down, and then just take a few nice deep breaths into the back of your body, back of the rib cage. Sometimes we don't always breathe as deep as we can. So we want to keep utilizing those lungs. Keep that oxygen going to the back parts of the lungs. On the next inhale, work yourself back up to seated. Good. If you want the challenge from a standing knee to elbow, you can go ahead and stand up. For round one, I'm going to show it seated. So we're going to sit up nice and tall, bring the arms to the side, and then when you're ready, you can try to pick up the one leg, bring that elbow towards the opposite knee, and then we switch sides, all training sides. Good. Shoulders down out of the ears. Good. See if you can breathe out as you pull that knee up. Breathe in as you come back up. Excellent. Pulling the belly in as you bow forward, lifting that knee up. 10 more seconds. Good job. Working the midline, working your hip flexors a bit to pick that leg up, and then challenging your brain a bit as you go from one side of the body to the other. Go ahead and rest after you finish that second side. And now if you are seated, join me standing. Pull yourself up or push off your legs. Squat practice is next. All right, so you can use the chair to hold on to. I'm gonna take advantage of this great post I have right here. You can also kind of mimic a doorway where you kind of hold on to the edge of the doorway, set those feet about hip width apart. And now I'm gonna hold on as I lower myself down, setting those hips back, pushing those knees out. You can use your upper body as much as you need to pull yourself up and forward. If you don't wanna hold on, you feel comfortable in your squat, then reach those arms out as you send your hips back. And then you're trying to use those legs as much as you can. Pushing straight down into the ground, that's gonna generate that force so that you can stand up. Good. So working that range of motion, keeping your hips nice and open. Maybe one more time. Sitting back, holding on, and pulling yourself back up. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna go unweighted for this next exercise on round two and three. If you wanna hold some weight, you can. And we're gonna do an overhead press or reach without weights. I like to add a little bit of a side bend with my body. So I'm kind of leaning away from the side that's reaching up. Go ahead and join me when you're ready. Reach, sometimes we call this our apple picking. When we try to think about grabbing it into those tree branches here in Arizona, I should call it some lemon picking. Reaching for those lemons high in the trees. Ah, still got some in the, have some in the neighborhood here. 
a nice stretch for that side body. Maybe one more on each arm. Two, one, and rest. Good job. Let's take it into a little bit of a sidestep arm swing. And then we're going to go back to the top, returning to our seated position. That's round one. We're going to do it twice more. Great job, everybody. All right, when you're ready, make your way back to your chair. We'll start here in about 15 seconds. Remember, as you come to seated, you're coming right to the edge of the chair. Right leg first, sitting tall, chin in, two, one. Here we go, kick it out and bend. We're working about 35 seconds on each side. You want to progress with these exercises. An option would be to wear like two pound, two and a half pound ankle weights on your leg. So you have like a weighted leg extension here. Go ahead, still sit tall. I found myself starting to slouch. So emphasize that tall chest. Uh, that's 30 seconds, maybe one or two more reps up and down and rest. Oh, good job. Set it down, shake it out. Coming to that other side, draw those shoulders back, readjust your posture, and here we go. Breathe in as you bend, breathe out as you extend, kicking that leg straight, pulling those toes back towards your face. Ah, just like a little gentle smile as you move here. Tell our body, remind ourselves that we do these exercises to keep our body strong keep ourselves comfortable, kind of got to get uncomfortable in order to be more comfortable in life. And three, two, one, and rest. Ooh, good job, Glenn. Tap those thighs. We're going to go back to our elbow to the opposite knee. I'm going to show round two seated as well. If anybody wants to stand up, and then I'll stand up for the third time through. So if you are gonna be seated, sit right on the edge of the chair, breathing in, raise those arms up to the side. And then when you're ready, breathing out, knee comes up, elbow comes across. It's totally all right if you can't quite make contact, just come as close as you can. Pull yourself back up tall, breathing out, breathing in. Really being conscious to draw the shoulders back and down. And now we can also focus a little bit on the hands, spreading those fingers nice and wide, open through the palms. Good. Give me one more on each side, up and down. And two, one, and rest. Awesome. We're coming back up for that squat practice. Those of you that are feeling strong going all the way down and all the way up, if you want to hold a little bit of weight this time, you can go ahead and pick up a little bit of weight. If you feel a little bit uncertain of squatting all the way down, you can also, I'm going to show the squat to the chair this time. So when you're ready, you can even do a little bit of a weighted squat to the chair. You can just hold that weight right underneath the chin. Still setting those feet about hip width apart. Didn't help to get my head to the screen. And then when you're ready, belly draws in, hips push back, knees push out. So as you see, as I demo the chair here, I'm not actually sitting all the way down. I'm just lightly touching my thighs to the chair and then coming back up. If you do sit down, that's okay. And then pull yourself forward, drive into the feet, standing all the way up. Beautiful, good. Third round, I'm going to come out of the chair. We do like to get deeper than the chair when we can, building that capacity and then keeping that range of motion through the joints. Final time and rest. Fantastic. Up to you if you want to hold some light weights as we go back to that overhead press or overhead reach. I will demo this round with some lighter weights. Standing nice and tall. You can make a fist as well. We'll go one arm and then the other, lowering it down, pressing up. Now, what, now that I'm holding weights, I keep my torso more upright. If you can remember last round, we were leaning away from the side that we were pushing up. So if you're still keeping without the weights, you can add a little bit more of a bend of your body if that feels good for you. Whichever version you're choosing, try to still engage that lower body. See if you can kind of squeeze the glutes, 
kind of flex those thighs. Maybe one or two more on each arm. And two, one, and pause. Beautiful. All right, final time through, coming back to seated for those leg extensions, and then we're gonna let the air out of the bands. Start here in about 10 seconds. So come back to the edge of the chair. We'll start with the right leg. Chin in, belly in, eyes up. And here we go, right leg up, kick it out. Stomach drawn in, good, eyes up. This is also a great exercise. If you find you have stiffness in the knees, now, sometimes my first advice is like to try to get down into a squat, but sometimes if kind of upon your comfort with that, you might think like, heck no lady, I can't do that. But you could start with some leg extensions because this keeps that joint moving. It helps encourage the blood flow and just the circulation all around that joint. Go ahead and rest ah, 10 seconds and we'll finish up with that left leg. Sitting tall, shoulders back, two, one. Here we go, pick it up, kick it out. Bend, extend. Nice. You try to lift your head tall to the sky. Bend, extend, halfway. Anytime you need a break, just rest on the ground and then see if you can come back and join us once again. Five seconds. In, out, in, and rest. All right, as mentioned, let the air out. If you wanna just pull the bands off. Those of you that don't have bands, just pause for a second. You can repeat that toe touch stretch if you want. All righty. Feel free if you want to leave them on. It's no big deal, you don't have to take them off. So the, that toe touch stretch, we'll all do it together here. Chin to the chest. If you already did it, take a break and then come back into it. So I mean, you just sit back up and then bow back down, lowering the head down, breathing. Try to breathe into like the lower part of your spine. Feel those ribs, elevate on that inhale. Drop down on that exhale. Next inhale, coming back up to standing or seated rather. All right, as mentioned, I'm gonna stand up. If your balance is challenged, stay seated for that all trade knee to elbow. Otherwise, we'll start here in about 10 seconds. Do it from standing. Belly draws in, elbows out to the side. And then when you're ready, it's a big challenge on the balance. Shifting your weight from one side, lifting that knee up, coming as close as you can to that opposite elbow. Breathing in, breathing out. It helps to breathe out as you pull that knee up. Give a little bit more space through your diaphragm. Want to get the air out of the lungs. It's a little bit easier to bend forward. Go ahead and one more on each side. Up and down, up and rest. Awesome. Shake out the arms if you were seated. Bring yourself back up to standing. We have the final bit of squatting to work on next. So if you wanna hold some weights, hold the heaviest weights that you feel confident that you can still have that good technique. If you're like, hey, I'm not ready to hold weights, but you need help getting down, find that door frame, find somewhere to hold on to even a countertop. And then when you're ready, go ahead and join me, sitting those hips back, pushing those knees wide, opening everything up. Sometimes you'll feel stiff when you still start to do this movement, but then the body might start to say, ah, thank you. Yes, we need that deeper range. We need to open up, pushing those knees wide. All right, fantastic. In the second half, I'm gonna reach the arms out, try not to hold on, and then just lower them down as you stand. Fantastic, that's 30 seconds. Let's practice for about another 10. You're doing great, Diane. Keep those eyes looking forward as you lower down. So eyes up, final time. Sitting back, awesome, and standing tall, beautiful. All right, overhead press with or without weights. If you're not doing a press, we'll call it a reach. 
So soft bend those knees, stomach drawn in, and then I'm leaving the weights out this time as well. Push as I reach. So now without the weights, I'm adding a little bit more of a side bend. Ah, good. You can also gently turn the head. If you can glance up again, I would recommend this without the weight. Those of you that are unweighted with me, you can follow that hand that's reaching up with the eyes. Maybe one more on each side. Up, down, and rest. Beautiful. Arm swings with or without the foot step. So you can do a little side step here. See if you can alternate which arm comes on top as you swing forward. And then as I swing back, my palms are forward and I'm really squeezing those shoulders back. Excellent, 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna take our rest break. Stretch break, rest break, however you wanna call it. Very good. All right, let's have everybody grab some water. Keep that hydration going. All righty. So we're gonna do a couple of stretches here. Stagger stance stretch first to open up that hip flexor. You're gonna mirror me this time. So I'm gonna say the opposite of the leg that I'm moving. Keep your right foot forward, step your left foot back and go ahead and I want you to rock back onto that heel and I want you to maintain your feet hip width apart. Now we're gonna take the arms back up to the shoulders. We're gonna gently rock the hips back, push that back hip forward, have a nice stable bend on that front knee and now rotate your torso towards your right leg. Turn that head and neck as well. You can even grab onto the tricep of your left arm and kind of pull that arm around. Good, go ahead and unwind your body. Rest the arms down for a moment. Send those hips back. I'm gonna face you this time. Send those hips forward, raise the arms back up. And then once again, rotating. Diane, have a little bit longer stance if you can. And make sure those feet aren't too narrow. So hip width apart. There you go. Turning the head and neck when you're ready. A couple more breaths. And unwind from there. Beautiful. Walk that back foot in. And then we're going to balance it out on the opposite side. So now your right foot steps back, keeping those feet hip width apart. Eyes up and forward, arms crossed. And now we get the little hips rock back, hips rock forward, lift through the chest. Turn through the torso, looking over that left shoulder. Breathe. Squeeze that hip of the back leg. Go ahead and unwind. Rest those arms down. We're gonna do it once more. Hips back, hips forward. Raise the chest. And now pivot that body, turning the head and neck. Ah. Opening up through those hip flexors, coming up into that torso, into those deep hip flexors. Go ahead and unwind and shake it out. Nice. All right, a little bit more of a challenging stretch next. You may want to recommend holding on, steadying yourself against the wall or the chair as we move into our quad stretch. So picking your foot up. It's totally okay if you can't do this. It's one of the hardest stretches that we do together. We call it our quad stretch. So I'm trying to pull that foot towards the back of the body. If you are able to do this, I recommend doing this one every single day so that you can maintain that ability. This also can be done on the ground, on the floor, on your bed, sometimes using a towel to help grab that foot. Very good, go ahead and set that side down in between legs. Walk the feet a little bit wider. So if you couldn't grab your foot, join us for this one. Feet are nice and wide. I'm gonna anchor down into my leg with a little bend in my knees. And now I'm gonna push my hips back as I bow down, hands on the bottom of the thighs. And now we're gonna push the leg out as I turn my head and neck, look over one shoulder, breathing in as I come back to center. And then now I'm gonna pivot my body, look over the opposite shoulder. Breathing in as you come to center, breathing out on that rotation. Breathing in in the center, breathing out as you rotate. So let's go one more time each direction. Nice straight arms. Good. We finish that, standing up nice and tall. Those of you that are joining us for the quad stretch, now we're on 
I'm on my left leg, picking the foot up, pulling that heel back. We're gonna spend 30 seconds practicing this. Make sure you don't over arch the spine. Soft bend in that support leg, pulling the heel towards the back of the body. Very good, another 15 seconds. It's a challenging balance exercise as well if you choose, doing great. Nice, just rock so those hips don't start to kick out. Keep lifting and two, one, and everybody rest. Awesome job. All right, let's grab a drink. Join me in the chair. We're gonna do a one more stretch for the hips, one more stretch for the upper body, and then we're gonna come back. We have one more circuit left. Your energy is a little bit low today. We've already done quite a bit of weight, or quite a bit of weight. We've done a lot of movement. We're 30 minutes in. So you can also treat these next two stretches as your cool down stretch. Less is more at times, especially if your body's a little bit more fatigued. Alrighty, so we did that ankle circles earlier on. We're gonna go a little bit deeper this time. We're gonna still pick up the knee, can pick up the shin, and now we're trying to cross that foot over the opposite leg. Kind of use this support leg to pivot that leg around, readjust those hands, and now sitting tall, hug that leg in, pulling the knee towards the opposite side to lengthen out this outer hip. Good, great time to just rest the eyes for a moment. Close your eyes, draw your chin in, keep hugging that leg in. Let's breathe three more times together. Very good. After that third breath, go ahead and release this foot down. And then same thing, other side. Pick it up, interlace those hands, draw those shoulders back as you cross that foot over, reposition the hand, and now draw that leg towards the opposite side. Chin in, you can gently rotate the head, and then close those eyes, breathe deep three times, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And go ahead and rest. Fantastic. Set the foot down. Good. If you're sitting back on the chair, come back scooting forward so that you can have your feet flat on the ground. And we're going to stretch the upper body next. Chin in. Let's start with your right hand. Raise that arm straight up towards the sky. Bend that elbow and try not to lose the head forward. So really be aware that the eyes are up, chin is in, and I'm gonna use that opposite arm to reach around and draw that elbow back. Ah, good. Keep repositioning that head up and forward. This is a challenging stretch as well, especially if you're stiff through that mid body. Let's go 10 more seconds. You wanna gently lean away from the side that you're stretching. And when you're ready, release those arms down. Ah, shake out those shoulders. Same thing, opposite side. Chin in, sitting tall. Now your left arm, raise it straight up, reaching up towards the ceiling or sky, bending that elbow. Chin in, reaching around, pulling that elbow back. And we're gonna spend about 30 seconds here. So make sure we're not over arching that spine, ribs down in the front. And to lose that head forward, keep drawing that chin back and in. We're halfway through this side. Good, do it the best you can. You can lean away from the side you're stretching. And go ahead and release. Woo, good job. Wiggle it out, shake it out. Alrighty, next we're gonna come up to standing. We're gonna grab a weight to practice our dumbbell row. And then we're gonna be doing a march, holding that same weight in one arm. So go ahead and join me back up on your feet. As mentioned, if you're tired today, your body's like, ah, I'm feeling a little bit off, then just, you can call it, you can go ahead and turn this session off, leave us for now, or you can just watch, follow along with what feels best for your body. Alrighty, so go ahead and grab a weight if you can. If you don't have a weight to use, you can use a water bottle, Soup can. I'm gonna start, now we're gonna go back to opposite sides of the body. So I'm gonna be in my right arm, but we're gonna call it your left arm. 
Starting here in 10 seconds, you're gonna stand right in front of your chair, somewhere that you can support your body on. Toes are pointing forward. My belly's drawn in, soft bend in those knees, and now hinge at the hips, bowing down. One hand supports on the chair, other hand's gonna hold your weight. Reaching forward, and then we're doing our dumbbell row. We're gonna just pull that elbow straight up towards the ceiling, breathing in as you reach forward, breathing out as you draw that elbow nice and high, keeping the shoulder down out of the ear, and think about you're trying to squeeze that shoulder blade in towards your spine. One of our exercises to really support our posture, our shoulder health, keeping our shoulders nice and strong. You can pause the top as well. Couple more reps. And two, one, take that rest. So set your weight down, coming up to standing. Very good. And then you're gonna pick your weight back up in the same arm. We're gonna stand tall. So I'm just slightly kind of turning this palm forward so that hand is forward. And now we're gonna march, stationary march. So we're practicing holding that weight on one side of the body as we march. So sometimes what will happen is we'll tend to lean away from it. So really be aware. I'm still drawing that shoulder back, rotating that palm forward. You can move around your space or you can mimic me here. We have 10 seconds left working this stationary march. Good, and pause. Awesome. We're gonna set it down and now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side of the body. So now we'll go from your left hand to your right hand. Belly in, bowing down, two, one. Here we go, 30 seconds of our dumbbell row. Keep that support arm nice and straight. Good, belly drawn in. And just a nice little soft bend through those knees. Keep that breathing consistent, breathing in as you reach forward, breathing out as you pull that elbow straight up and back. Wonderful. Three, two, one, and pause. Good job. You can set the weight down, stand it up. And we'll pick that weight back up. Remember, you're gonna turn the palm forward, draw the shoulder back. And then when you're ready, we're gonna march for 30. Just short little marches here. Focusing on the midline. You should kind of feel that midline working when you have that weight on one side of the body. It kind of challenges your obliques a little bit. I'm gonna keep those shoulders and hips nice and square. We have 10 seconds left. Very good. And three, two, one, and resting there. Awesome. Let's take about 30 seconds. We're gonna go another time through that same series. So we back to your left arm on that dumbbell row. All righty, kind of roll those shoulders up and back. I'm gonna start here in 10 seconds. Back to that dumbbell row, toes forward, belly in. Place those hands down. So by our last time through, two, one, here we go. Breathing in as you reach, breathing out as you row. Sometimes we'll start to lose that head forward. So chin in, eyes forward. Also, we're working that mid back or that low back just a little bit. So keep engaged that mid body, pulling the belly in towards the spine. Supporting that lower back. Good, two, one, take the pause. So I like to set my weight down on my chair, make it a little bit easier. Coming back to standing. Go ahead and pick up that weight, rotate that palm slightly forward. And then when you're ready, we'll start that 30 seconds. Yep, shoulder back, palm forward. Last time on this side of the body, new series here. Working that single arm row, and then we would call this like a single arm march, holding weight on one side of the body. A little bit more realistic for real life. We're not always perfectly balanced, and we have to carry weights around. So we're building that strength in the midline. Good. Two, one, and pause. Good. I'm going to stay on this side. 
We're gonna be working your right arm next. Shake it out. Kind of rotate that torso just a little bit. All right, we're gonna start in 10 seconds. It'll be our last time through, and then we'll do our cool down stretch. So we'll pull that stomach in, soft bend those knees, bowing down on your right arm. Here we go, reaching forward, drawing up. Oh, welcome back, this is our second arm on the second round, last time through. A little bit of some internet issues for those of you attending live, so just kind of keeping you caught up. If you missed us doing the first arm, make sure you balance yourself out. Good. Ten more seconds. Woo. Three, two, one, and take the rest. Good job. Stand it up. Getting ready for that single arm march. Palm forward, shoulder drawn back, and begin. I'd like to reach that other arm out. Obviously, there's the tendency to kind of lean towards that side. So you want to stay away. Sometimes we overcompensate and lean away. So how tall can you stand? How square can you stay? <sighs> Great job. Halfway through, belly in, just a nice little steady march. Not trying to prove anything with the high knee position, just nice and consistent. And everybody rest. Great job. Set that weight down. Oh, fantastic. All right, I'm gonna move the chair out of the way. We're gonna do our wall stretch next using a doorway. You can also use the back of the chair to show you two options. So I can use the back of the chair and push down here or I can use the wall or this post and kind of push against here. So shoulders about chest height, hands about chest height, draw the belly in, walk those feet back, make sure you keep that bend in the knees. And now you're gonna lower your head and your heart between the arms, chin in, kind of push against that wall or the chair with the upper body. Today I try to straighten out those arms. Oh, I see you're a little limited on your space there. I got it hitting that doorway behind you. Ah, doing the best you can every day. It's all we can do one day at a time. Then you're ready, making your way up out of this stretch position here, walking the feet in, but stay on that space because now I'm gonna show you the lat stretch. We're gonna take one arm at a time. If you can kind of grab onto that doorway or even the side of a countertop, the side of a couch, I'm still drawing that belly in and now I'm going to walk my feet back, lean back ever so slightly. Opposite arm is going to reach under and I'm going to try to look underneath that arm on the side I'm stretching. And then as always, we return to the focusing on the breath, breathing into that side body where you feel that stretch. Good. When you're ready, standing up in between sides. As you stand up, a little bit of a rotation through your torso. Ah, loosen up that lower back. And then we'll balance out that second arm. So as I go to reach, I'm gonna turn my palm towards the surface that I'm gonna grab onto. Belly's drawn in, hips back. And now I'm gonna reach underneath that opposite arm, turning the head as well, trying to look underneath that shoulder. Nice deep breaths. Good. Ah. And when you finish that, coming back to standing, we're going to take advantage of this post here and move into our pec stretch neck. So elbow about 90 degrees, anchor that arm down, inside leg, the same side that you're stretching the arm, step that leg forward, and now we're going to lean into it, get a nice lengthening of the front of the chest, and then we're going to turn away from the side that we're stretching. So keep leaning forward, stomach in. Then we can do some nice gentle arm circles. As you reach forward, that outstretched arm, breathing in, and then circling it back, breathing out. Twice more. Reach forward, breathe in, breathing out, stretch back. Good. Final time. Awesome. I'm going to come off the wall. Let's go back to those torso rotations. 
You let the arms be nice and heavy on this one. So just flowing with it. Ah, wonderful. And then let's balance out that chest. Same thing on the opposite side. So elbow to 90, anchor it against that doorway or wall. Inside leg steps forward, stagger those feet, leaning into it. Turn your body away from the side you're stretching. And then that opposite arm, reaching it forward, circle it back. Breathing in as you reach forward, breathing out as you circle back. <laughs> I'm hitting our little chime here as I circle back. Good. After three times there, go ahead and come off the wall. And we're just gonna finish from standing here today. So we'll go back to those hip circles. We're gonna do a toe touch together and then some nice openings through that upper body. Ah, good, just kind of sway the hips the other way. Fantastic. All righty, nice long arms, breathing in, cross those arms in front of the body, breathing out, lowering down, good. Breathing in, raise up, breathing out, good. Let's bring some emotion this last one. Let's bring in some peace and love. Send it out into the world and release all the stress, worry, and concerns. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Keep yourself moving. Keep yourself grooving. Try to finish your glass of water. Wishing you a nice, beautiful weekend. Hope you have some great weather wherever you are. Spend some time outdoors as much as you can to listen to some, feel the fresh air and we'll move with you next week. Take care.